Okay, are you ready? Does it look good? Yeah, the frame. Yes. So, today we're going to do a video on uh, art on Instagram. And I'm here with my friend Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Sarah Berry on Instagram. So, we're going to talk about the art community on Instagram and mm -hmm. how you engage with it. Yeah. So, do you want to tell us a bit about that? Sure. <laughs> okay. I made my account two summers ago, so summer 2016. And okay. I just, I thought that Instagram would be a good way to just like bring more exposure. Cause originally I had a Tumblr. Tumblr's really hard to like, you know, like launch off at. I just started posting everything I was doing. Like it wasn't even like finished pieces. I just put everything out there, used hashtags. I don't have many followers still, but it's still, it's fun. That's okay. Yeah. I don't have any followers either, but here I am. Yeah. I guess in comparison to websites like Behance or uh, yeah. having your own website yeah. or putting it up on like different social media platforms like Facebook. Yeah. Why do you think you chose Instagram as the platform of your choice? Um, because everyone's using it now. The platform is really easy to just, like you can just like scroll through things and just see. It's just a really easy way to find art and different artists. Like mm -hmm. I know that when um, like I post stuff and I use like certain hashtags, like people will find you, sort yeah. of. Like I also noticed that like you put a lot of I guess like process work on on like yeah. developing ideas. Yeah. Was there a time that you were ever afraid to share your work? Yes, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I I don't think anyone thinks that their work is like ever really that good. Like like if you're an artist, you're just kind of like, this sucks. All the, like <laughs> <laughs> it's not somebody else. It's just like it's really good. Um, I always put a process work because I I never really. I just always want to like share my stuff. Well, um, I guess in my experience, mm -hmm. I started my Instagram because I wanted to show my process work as well. Yeah. But putting all of my process work into like one video, it took too long to process everything. Yeah. And I wanted a more like immediate way to share it. Yeah. I think that's why Instagram is, is a really good platform for that. It is, yeah. I feel like also people like, I think the most important, important, important part of your work is showing the process. I think that's the most interesting part. You can learn from that and you can learn from each other. Like, I, I see your photography and I'm like, it's really good and you really improved. <laughs> so Instagram is also a good way of going back and seeing where you were. And then, you know, uh -huh. you can like literally visually see like, oh, this is where I was and now I can like do better and stuff. Do you have a place for your portfolio? Honestly, I just sent my blog out. Yeah. <laughs> but I need an actual portfolio. Mm -hmm. Typically for stuff that I like sign up for or like um, jobs that I'm interested in, they will literally just ask like, let me just see your art blog or whatever you have online. <clears throat> mm -hmm. well, that's just me, but yeah, I don't have an actual thing. I mean, I set up a website for my portfolio work. I don't know how, if that's going to get me anywhere, but <laughs> I mean, I think it's important to just kind of like claim your domain first because yeah. uh, those go by really quickly and the longer you wait, if, yeah. so, if it does get taken mm -hmm. and that's like your handle for every other platform. Yeah. Where do you get most of your inspiration from? Because I know like as a creative, you mm -hmm. can get kind of like in a creative block for a stretch of time. But uh, if you do encounter something like that, where do you, you know, kind of respark that imagination? Um, a lot of my inspiration obviously comes from other artists on Instagram. But recently, like I've had a really bad creative block. That was really hard because I was like going through like other stresses in my life, yeah. and I still am. But um, I started school again, and I find that right now being in school is really helpful because you're around yeah. other people with like like minds and stuff there's one girl in particular in my um class and she's like you know what you're she saw me doodling and she was like you know like your style reminds me of um uh this guy named like michael deforge and he's mm -hmm. a he's from adventure time he's a character designer oh, on adventure okay. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah so i'll show you his stuff i she also gave me her comics i need your help to overcome my fear will you do it uh um... so, yeah and i like read all of them and he's very inspiring and like so I've been incorporating some of his style into my work now. For me, it's a combination of like newer artists, like like Michael DeForge, and then like 
older artists like going back to basics and stuff is mm-hmm. always really helpful and then also i'm just like trying to make more stuff for my store because i have not been as active with it i think so i'm just i want to force myself to make money in a way that like you know i'm enjoying what i'm doing yeah it's yeah. definitely difficult when you're doing school and yeah. trying to carve your own little like niche. Exactly, because like I before I started school in January mm-hmm. this year, like I was just work. I worked at H and M retail, and and like I was just doing that for three months. I was there full time, and I like was like, okay, I'm gonna work on my store. Like I'm not in school right now. Like mm-hmm. I need to work on personal stuff, and I was so drained after every day that like I just kept pushing it off, and I was just like getting more sad, and I was like, I can't. Do anything because I don't feel creative and I'm just like more stressed about work than anything. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I, uh, with my Tumblr, I find that like honestly, I've done better on Tumblr than I have on uh, Instagram. Right. Just because Instagram, it's really good exposure. You can quickly have people find you, but it's so competitive. There's so many different art accounts. There's so many mm-hmm. different creatives. And then on Tumblr, it's like I, I would use certain hashtags, and people are actively looking for stuff to um, reblog, and like that spreads your work easier, I think, than Instagram. But it took me like a year to like get to that point and I have more followers there and I feel like more people are genuinely like seeing my stuff because they want to on Tumblr. It's my mom. <laughs> As people become more more skilled and classes and courses uh, have a larger dominance online, yeah. I feel like employers are starting to look for more, I guess, versatile Versatile. They they look. For, I feel like they look for people that have a more versatile set of skills. Yeah. And being in illustration and graphic design, do you see yourself learning a bit of maybe like animation oh or coding? God, yeah. People who look for social media marketers now they also have to be like yeah. graphic designers. They also have to be photographers. They have to know how to take a video. They have to they have to know how to produce content. Yeah. But do you? picture yourself kind of like pick, picking up on some of these things yeah and... for sure you're so right about that because literally like that's just like the bare minimum now like, even with like social media marketing like that's like you have to know all that stuff that's insane mm-hmm. i feel like now if you pick up on more things like learning um what's it called all the adobe programs like the creative suite <laughs> creative suite literally yeah. like i like i, I want to no more. Having access to all of these different things that are becoming more and more accessible by more people is also, you know, it drives the, the edge of the competition as well. That's true, yeah, yeah. Like, we're so lucky now because we can literally learn anything if we wanted to. No one has to really teach us. Like, everything is online, you know, and we yeah. can access these programs. I mean, unless you're doing some crazy, like, like brain surgery, or I, I, I probably wouldn't trust something <laughs> no. from YouTube. And that should conclude our, I don't know why I'm getting up this <laughs> If you guys are interested in Sarah's work, I will link her Instagram in the down below <laughs> somewhere. Um, if you don't follow Kyle already, what the hell are you doing? If you subscribe to him, I don't know how to end videos. Should I bring my dog? Yeah, let's let's get Teddy. Okay. <laughs> this is Teddy. If you guys like this video or found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up in the section down below. It helped me out a lot. And if you don't do it for me, then do it for Teddy, because he's the most adorable, adorable little guy. Just, just good.